Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today I want to give a big shout out to Beadalon for sending me this Cone-tastic tool. Today we're making some funky coiled rings with the Cone-tastic tool. You will need the tool. I'm using the medium size bit. You'll need your regular tools, beads, I have a ring mandrel and I have 18 and 20 gauge wire. So all the bits fit into the end of the tool. You'll just choose the size you want. There are three sizes that come with the kit. So I'm going to put in the medium size. I'll use the Allen's key to tighten it up so it's secure. And then all of the bits and the key can be stored in the handle. Tighten it up. And from there, I'll get a seven to eight inch piece of 20 gauge wire. I'm going to put it through the hole at the end and then wind it up the bit. So starting about a quarter inch from the end, leave an even space between each coil, about an eighth of an inch, and I'm gonna wind it around about seven times. Depends on how big you want your coil. Then we'll just clip the end to release it from the tool and then clip it a little bit more and we're going to clip the top end of the wire. Use your round pliers to turn the end in to close it off. Push the spring down with your thumb and your finger and then use the round pliers again just to fold the little end up inside. Now we're going to take some 18 gauge wire and just do a little loop on the end. Flatten it out so there's no sharp ends. And we're going to put the first coil on there and we'll get an eight millimeter miracle bead and the other coil. So we're just going to sandwich that bead in there, push the coils together a little bit and bend the end at a bit of an angle. Cut it to about an eighth to a quarter inch, turn the end around to form the loop so that everything's secured in place. Use the flat pliers to do any adjustments that you need. Push in those sharp ends. We'll hold the end with the flat pliers so we can make this little curve. Just keep pushing with your thumb and finger. So once you have it at a nice curve, we're going to get a piece of 18 gauge wire and turn it around the ring mandrel. Bend the ends a little bit. Clip the ends a little bit shorter. And then we're going to slide the coiled piece onto the ring band. Slide it on the mandrel. Put it to the size you want. Grab the ends and turn them back to hold that in place. Really push it down with your thumb and give it a good little tug with your flat pliers. So then you can pull the ends in a little bit more and clip them. And same on the other side, grab the end, pull it down and clip it flush. Now we get the flat pliers just to push that little pokey end in. And the same on the other side. And then back on the ring mandrel, always to make sure it's nice and rounded, pinch it in with your thumb and your fingers. This is gonna be a larger size thumb ring and I made a smaller one earlier for the pinky. So this time I'm gonna get some washi tape 
just so I have a little more precise measure on the bit. Just wind it around so I know where to start each spring. And we're going to again put the end through the hole and then just start it at the end of the washi tape and wind it around. You could also do a marking with Sharpie on the metal so you know where to start or just eyeball it. Again, clip the end to release it from the bit. We'll clip the end of the wire with the flush cutters and clip the other end. Turn the end in so it's not sharp. Push the spring together and bend up the other end inside so it's hidden. And now we're going to get our 18 gauge wire, wind it around the ring mandrel. And I'm going to do a little loop in the ring band wire. This is going to hold the coil in place. So we're just wind it around and back so that little loop is centered on the wire. And now we're going to slide on our coiled cones. And this time I'm going to use a six millimeter bead. You can use six or eight, six just a little smaller. Bend the wire up on a bit of an angle to secure it in place. And take your round pliers and wind the wire around to make a loop. This will hold everything together snugly on the ring band. Make any little adjustments you have to do with the round pliers and bend the wire back to center the loop. Pinch it in a bit more so everything's secure. Push the ends in a bit to round them out. Put it back on the ring mandrel. Push the ends around. And we want to hold it with the flat pliers centered. Clip the end so it'll be able to go through the band. Please excuse the blurriness. There we go. So now we're going to clip the other end. Bend it around. So we've got it secure. And then clip the ends flush. Other side as well. Get your flat pliers to pinch in the pokey ends so it won't scratch. And then put it back on the ring band to make sure it's round. And you'll see this way it's a little bit adjustable. And there you have your ring and you can make it with six or eight millimeter beads. This time we're starting with a longer wire. It's about 12 to 15 inches, depending on how big you want the coils to be. So we're going to start in the center and wind the wire up about six, seven, eight times. Depends on how big you want that coil to be. Then we'll remove it from the bit and we're going to turn it around and place it back right against the bit there and then just wind it from the same position all the way up so we won't want both sides to be the same so just wind it up the same amount of times you did the first time so it looks like that and then we're going to remove it from the bit clip the ends so they're flush other side as well and then Take the round pliers and turn the ends in at either side. And then from there, we're going to start rounding out the middle so they're going to connect together. You can use your larger round pliers if it's easier. Just turn it, rotate it slowly around so they're going to meet up in the middle. And then we want to count up however many coils we have figure out where the center is going to be. So you can just count them up there. And then we're going to push the coils together on either side of the center. So just push them 
right in there. And then do any little adjustments using your pliers to make sure the coils are together, keeping that opening in the middle. Just do the adjustments you need. And then we're going to get a piece of 18 gauge wire for the band. Just turn it right around and slide the coil in, hold it in place, stick the bead on there, and then we'll wiggle it around so the wire will go right through to the other end, come out the other side. Slide it around to the center, and then pinch the ends of the coil so they'll actually grip the ring band. Don't pinch too much that you break it. You just want to pinch it so it's going to hold in place. Put it on the mandrel and then clip the end to one side of the center. Check the distance from where you've clipped it and do the same on the other side. And then take the end, twist it with the round pliers, flip it around and do the same on the other side and pinch them so there's no pokey ends. Adjust them. Wiggle this around so the band connects at the back. Again, use your flat pliers to do any adjustments. Put it back on the ring mandrel. Push it with your thumbs and there you have the last one that is adjustable. Thank you again to Beadalon for sending me this amazing tool and all the incredible wire that I use in all my tutorials. Stay tuned for more exciting videos using this contastic tool. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.